that was missing in Euro 96. That is quite incredible. That's a sure about the goalkeeper's position and what he saw, but we can't deny the quality of the strike. It had power, it had bend, it had accuracy. Watch this. Starts way, way, way wide of the goal. That's two, three yards wide. And just clips the inside of the post. That is quite a magnificent... You just watch right there, guys. And it's an impossible free kick done by Roberto Carlos in 1997 between France and Brazil. Soccer goal that Roberto Carlos kick subjects the Magnus effect, which affects all rotating balls or cylinders fly through the air. For example, this basketball pickup speed, air on the front side of the ball is going in the same direction at its spin, and therefore it gets dragged along with the ball and deflected back. Air on the other side is moving opposite to the ball spin, so the flow separates from the ball instead of getting deflected. The net result is the ball pushes in one way, so the applies equal force on the other way. The Magnus effect is named after Heinrich Gustav Magnus, who described it in 1852. Magnus was the first guy who discovered it when he was investigating why cannonballs curve as they propagate through the air. This effect is very important in sport like tennis, soccer, and golf. But could it have non-sport application? This is the A-ship one which uses four spinning cylinders, that's four flattened rotors, to increase the efficiency and reduce the amount of diesel it burns. In conclusion, the Magnus effect may help more than just impossible free kicks that Roberto Carlos did in 1997 between France and Brazil. I hope you guys have learned today and bye!